Hello everyone. Welcome to the video demonstration of the Instagram campaign of WP Content Pilot. Let's follow some easy steps to get through. At first you have to go to Instagram setting to set a session ID. To create an Instagram session ID, follow the instructions given in our site. Let's jump over to the WP Content Pilot. From the Add New option, let's add a new Instagram campaign. Now add a title to the new campaign. From the Action field, you can target content number, campaign frequency and can set how often you want to generate posts. Remember to set campaign status active. Let's go to our article campaign options. First of all, we have keyword suggestions. It shows your desired suggestions as you type it and you can click to add it in the keyword section. You will also have an option to set the type of source. Set the first image as featured image and use summary as excerpt. Now update and run the campaign. You will see a post generated with all the features previously have been selected. Let's change the source type keywords to users. You will see there will be another field where you can put Instagram user ID. Let's run the campaign. You can see the post has been fetched from the desired ID. Select clean title from the field. A new post has been generated with a title synced from the post. From the post setting, you can set post categories and post tags. You can also set keywords to category and tags as well. You can see a new post with category and tags has been generated. Now select canonical tags, relation nofollow, and target to blank. Update and run the campaign. You can see keyword to category and keyword to tag are attached to the category and tag accordingly. On the generated page, check inspect element. Here you will find relation nofollow and target to blank are set. Now go to edit. Below the post you can see the canonical URL. In advanced settings, you can set limit to excerpt length, title and content. Let's check what happens with the new generated post. In the advanced setting, you will find a field to replace certain words. You will also find an option to set meta keys and meta values. You can see the searched word has been replaced by the chosen word. To check meta keys and meta values, click edit on the post. Below the post you can see meta post and meta value are there. Now let's translate a post. In the advanced setting, choose a language. Update and run campaign. You can see a newly generated post has been translated to desired language. From the post setting you are able to change post type. Let's change the type post to page and see what happens. You can set your published post to private. Let's give a check if the post has changed to private or not. Setting up the post to draft. 
You can see a post saved as a draft. Set a post as pending. Let's check if it is there or not. Thanks for watching.